Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and the event for St. Patrick's Day is finally over. We're able to move on to other things, and at this point in time, I'd like to continue on with Emerald Lake. Now, when I last left off here, one of the fish I had focused on was the chain pickerel, the unique chain pickerel, and during the event, I came back here just to basically try out my new boat, now which I still have and I'm going to continue to use. But uh, one of the things I'm after at this point is the unique sauger. That's the only other unique species that's found here. And I have yet to catch that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go over to a great sauger spot and see if we can't catch one. Just so happens that it is a rainy day here on Emerald Lake. I don't know if that's going to affect things as far as sauger goes. I mean, they're in the same family as the walleye, so it's usually good for walleye. It's worth a try anyway. Well, let's go in here, take a look, see what we can do. Go ahead and go to a private room here. Now, you're going to have to use a boat in this particular venture because the sauger, the best spot is over here on... Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like this cliff facing over here, and you can see the two markers. That's where the sauger to be found. Um, unless you have a really good rod that can cast like super far, you're going to have to get over there by boat. So let's go ahead and see what we can do about getting a little bit closer. <laughs> I'm still all in green here. But we're going to try to get over here. Now, there's a marker over here that I think I'm going to moor up to. Should give you enough casting distance to get over there to that cliff facing. I think that marker was for something from another event, but I'm not sure which one it was. Yeah, the only thing I wish they had were rod holders. My god, wouldn't that be nice? I like this boat. I'm probably going to start using it instead of the other one. But I'm going to try a narrow spoon to see if I can't get these guys. Try to do it on light tackle. Well, let me see. There might be some other lures I could use that might be effective. We've got a bigger narrow spoon here too. We could try that with this rod if we don't get this one. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and throw that on there. There we go. And this one, either one or either one of these two would be good. And I think I can put a fourth. I don't know. It might be too big for that. Let me see here. Is this an eighth? No, it's a fourth. It's a fourth. For some reason, I was thinking it was an eighth. All right. Well, we'll give it a try. Start off with this one. There is no peak, so we can just. Okay, let's see if we can get some distance here. Now, what is that marking, honestly? I think it's probably Sauger, but Trophy Sauger. So, that is the place. Sauger, Sauger, Trophy Sauger, all along there. That is the Sauger location. Now, if we had rod holders, I'd throw some bottom rods out there and put some leeches on it. That would, or small minnows, and that increase our odds for catching them as well. Like I said, I have not caught the unique sauger. I thought I had. Maybe I did, and I just didn't record it. I don't remember, honestly. But since they've changed some things, they don't show it on the on the thing whether or not you've caught them or not. 
I'm going to try lift and drop and see if that doesn't work. We'll do a stop and go if that doesn't work. Alright guys, I have cast several times from here and nothing has bitten. Starting to think that maybe this rainy weather is not the best for Sauger. Let's see what we can do about <coughs> moving on here. Hold on, let's lift anchor there first. Yeah, I might take it over here to this dock and actually do some f bottom rod fishing as well. Yeah, there is a little dock over here. You can usually go back in the back of it when the um, 4th of July event's going on. In fact, you might even be able to see the George, Wa George Washington statue off in the distance, but... Let me see if I can get over here to it. Here it is. And the only way to get here is by boat. That's it. Oh, okay. Let me see. All right. Let me see. Can you see the statue? No. I don't see it, but that's where it would be normally. All right. Yeah, we should be able to reach all those spots without any problem. But we're going to check and see real quick here. I'm pretty sure what they go for, but I just want to be 100% certain. I've also got a mission set up. If it's an exploration mission, I need to finish out. I might go ahead and do that off screen, but... Let me see. Yep. Small minnows and leeches. I was right on the money with that. They do go for worms, grubs, and narrow spoons. So we got the narrow spoons. But I think we're going to go ahead and advance time because I really do believe that this rain is making things a problem. That's four time. All right. There we go. Let's get out the rod pod and we'll see if we can't put some leeches on some of this. Let's see. Right about there. This should increase our odds here. Let's put a leech on there. Th two odd. That should work. I don't know if I have small minnows though. It's not looking like I do. Do they have any in the shop? Fresh baits. Yes, they do. Ah, damn, I got too much stuff in my inventory. Gonna have to make the leeches work, I guess. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll throw one over here at this marker. And one at each of the other two, and probably one somewhere in between. Right. Now, looking at the markers themselves, this was the lure I was using to catch them. So, all right, let's see what we got here first. I think we got one, actually. Nope, we got us a walleye. Yeah, I think it's part of the problem. There's so many walleye in this area, too. Getting the sauger is a little tricky. Oh, wrong one. Another walleye. Well, we're going to get a lot of cash, I guess. <laughs> Let's see here. Throw that one right back there. And 
let's take that right back through here through the sauger hole yeah 207 feet that's a pretty good cast We got something here. There we go. There's our first sauger. He got it on a lift and drop, so that does work. what we're after here, man. Uh, let's see here. Another sauger, still regular size. Boy, they're biting pretty good. Yeah, I'm getting them one right after another, but just getting them regular size, though. I don't know what about you, but those sounds sound a lot like the ones from the Halloween event. <laughs> Wolf howls and... <laughs> there we go. Something. Okay, this might be a walleye. No, I think it's a sauger. Trophy sauger, there we go. Now we're doing a little bit better here. Now, so far, that's about the biggest I have caught. <laughs> Me and that St. Patrick's Day thing. <laughs> That's funny. We'll keep him. Let me try this one for a minute. Wait a minute. Oops. Gonna see if they go after this narrow spoon. They might not because it's not a nighttime one, but yeah, 
Yeah, there's something right there in the middle that is keeps snagging on. There we go. Okay, we did get a bite. And it is a sauger. Yeah, let's switch this off for a little bit and try this one. There we go. Nice. Okay, that was a stop and go, and I kept it in the center of the water table. Now, this could just be a regular sauger, because this is light tackle, so... Yeah. Probably get a little more XP for him now that way. Oh, okay. That's considerably bigger. Of course, it is a little misleading. Again, this is light tackle, so this could be just a walleye or a trophy sauger. That's a sauger. Nope, it's a walleye. I was sure it was a sauger. Hmm. Let it get about to the middle. That seems to be the what seems to attract them. Just keeping it right around in the middle there. Three dots. There we go. Another walleye or is it a sauger? Yep, another walleye. Decent walleye. Yeah, let's go back to our other rod here and just use let's just use that retrieve. Because lift and drop kept getting snagged, so this might be a better retrieve anyway. Since this is a nighttime lure, they might see it better too. Ah, shoot, it's going down to the bottom. Yeah, we're doing better with that purple lure. Yeah, that's not too bad. There we go. I think it's a walleye. No, there it is, guys. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. We got it. We got it. Unique Sauger. 493 cash. 118 XP.
We got it. That's all ty all the types. I got all three of them. <laughs> and I get to do it in my St. Patty's Day apparel here. That was not intentional, but <laughs> we've got it anyway. But let me go ahead and get a picture of him. That is cool. Yeah, that is it. That is all the uniques that are here. Well, let me go ahead and mark that because I want to be sure that that's where we fish in the future for these guys. Wait a minute. Let's take off some of those other markers because we got like ones for. Let's see, was it this one? Yep, it was just past the one for the trophy. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and remove those because we need all of those we can get. And I didn't get any over there this time. So that's the two spots. We got trophy and we got unique. All right. That was the unique slogger, guys right over there that was pretty cool I don't know if nighttime made a difference or not it's really difficult to say it is the peak seems that the peaks do affect in some way But the narrow spoon three quarter ounce, the night one, and the one quarter ounce purple narrow spoon seem to be the best lures for this location so far. I didn't catch a darn thing off the bottom rod, so stick with lure fishing. Yeah, I'm going to try that purple one one more time. Just to test it. And the purple one got the walleyes too, so, oh wow, I mean that's just, the purple one is even better. Yep, definitely go with the purple one guys. I'm not even sure I can pull any unique with this rod, but yeah, if you can get a decent sized rod that can cast this particular lure, now the one eighth ounce might work too. I don't know. You have to, you might have to test that. And see, but it does perfectly fine at night. Doesn't matter. And I'm literally getting one right after another here. Yep, one right after another. Keep it in the center table. Just like that. Damn. That is amazing. Yeah, 
Yeah, Sauger and Waller, they're not big, big fighters, so you don't really have to worry about them getting ahead of you and snapping a line as much as some others, but... There you go. That's the Sauger, my, my friends. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And so until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.